Okay, so in our last tutorial, we saw how to share data between a parent and child component using ng on changes. So there, we had like two two components inside the app component. So here is my app component. Inside we have two components: the app new employee and the app all employees. So we were did the checking for the changes in the on change uh, ng on change lifecycle hook. So here, whenever change happened, uh, we triggered the pass method to uh, to refresh to, to refresh our component now in this tutorial we'll see how to use a subject for passing data between a parent component and a child component so here what i'll do first i'll just remove the ng on changes here i'll just comment it out move this similarly i'll go to the other component Remove the ng on changes and comment out the ng on changes method. Okay, now uh, we'll be using a uh, Angular subjects for passing data between a parent and a child component. So what I'll do is I'll define a subject here, data subject. It's a new subject. Let's define the type as an array. Once you have the subject defined, once we get the data here, we'll trigger the subject from here and pass the data. Now, what instead of passing data from our parent to child component, what we'll do is we'll simply pass the data subject. So I'll go here. I'll add one variable called sub and I'll pass in the subject here similarly for the other component also now I go to my child components and write a subscribe inside the ng on it and define input directive Okay, now I'll do one thing, I'll subscribe to that, this dot sub dot subscribe, and whenever this response I get, I'll update my this dot data, this dot users value here, will be equal to response. Now, so now I'm subscribing to this thing. Same thing I'll use in, in, the, in, the, in the other child component also. Here also I use the same thing, and I'll define one sub also here. So now if I run my code, okay, uh, subject, what's the issue with subject, can't resolve, so I'll just import the thing, okay, now it's good. We are getting some issues here, so I'll just go here. Uh, remove this thing probably. This is sub one probably. Okay. Now it seems good. Now we'll reload our application. Now if you can see, we are getting data initially from this method. Now on refreshing, add some more data. You can see on clicking of this button, add more data. Data gets duplicated, or like some extra data is added. So 20 rows gets gets added. So now if I check here, this also has a 20 rows. So that updated data from the parent component is being passed to the child component. Here also, if you check, it's the same only. If I add some more data, it gets becomes 30. If you check here, this also becomes 30. So data gets updated. Now let's do one thing, since we are already subscribing to the subject here, we don't need to pass the data directly to the child component, so I'll just comment it out. I'll just remove this thing from here. And also from our components, here we are passing this dot pass method here, so we don't need it here. Since the data will be coming from here, 
this method is also not required I'll comment this also similarly I'll go to my new component here and comment out this method and this method will also now let's see if it works fine okay now as you can see uh, the data is not loading so you need to do one thing I'll show you one thing here so why the data might not be loading it's because uh, probably uh, as you can see from your main component or the parent component once we have uh, created the subject here we are triggering the next uh, only after getting the API call so this thing triggers at that time now until and unless we have some data this thing won't get initialized since we are using an ng if here right so uh, since this doesn't get initialized it doesn't subscribe to the subject so this subscription might be happening after we have uh, triggered the next from here that might be the reason just to be sure of that thing we'll do one thing we'll come here and do a console.log about to subscribe and done subscribe okay and I'll go in my app.compound.ts file and do console.log triggering next triggered next now I'll just save the changes go to my thing and if you check the console you can see uh, first it goes to triggering next triggered the next so that, that triggering is done and then it goes to the about to subscribe and done subscribe so this is the issue so the solution to this thing is uh, what we can do we can go to our app.com.html file we can remove this uh, ngf validation so what that will do is uh, it will subscribe that this child component will get loaded as soon as uh, the application gets loaded without waiting for the data thing to have some value or anything so if you refresh the page here now you can see and the, the thing we are about to subscribe and done subscribe and then it goes to triggering next and triggered next right so now we can see that we are not passing the data to the data variable we are all going from the subscribe stuff only and the data is getting loaded yeah and now if i click on add more also it duplicates the data here right there is one more solution to this thing you can use something called um, behavior subject but maybe we can discuss that in some other tutorial so I uh, I hope you find this video useful so do let me know your thoughts in the comments below thanks for watching